Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this video is all about how to appear for the ARS mains examination. So we'll know about some of the important tips how to write in the exam writing strategy. So this is going to be very very helpful in the examination because this paper is not the objective type. That means you cannot guess or bluff. You have to write it properly. So all these things we'll know in this video without wasting much time. Let's get started. So those who don't know about the pattern of the exam, first of all, let us know the maximum marks and the duration required for those marks. So ARS preliminary is over. So now ARS mains exam is there. So it will be of descriptive type. 240 marks is the maximum marks given. And the time is 3 hours. So 3 hours, you have to attempt 240 marks ke paper. Ko attempt karna hai. So this will be a lot of things you have to keep in So let's move on to the next slides. So here we came to know that the question will be of 240 marks and we have to attempt in 3 hours duration. So what is going to be the pattern of the paper? Yes, the paper will be divided into 3 parts. That is part A, part B and part C. Yes, part A will consist of 40 questions which will be each carrying 2 marks. That means total 80 marks in the part A. That is short type question answer. In this part, the answers will require very short not exceeding 10 words at the most so it is not 10 sentence maximum it will be 10 words so mostly it is about fill in the blanks type of you have to fill with two or three words so not exceed 10 words next coming to the part b so part b will consist of 20 questions each of five marks so each will require one or two paragraphs or graphical explanation so 20 into 5 100 marks in the part b that is for the Paragraph writing. Next part C, the big boss that will be having six essay type or descriptive type question. So this is the most marks carrying part that is part C. Here each question will carry 10 marks. So total six question, 10 into 60, 60 marks will be there. And most importantly, you should note down that answers are required to be written in the space provided below the question. So in the paper itself, you have to write you will not be provided any extra sheets. So this is mentioned in their prospectus. This is not I am telling. So no extra sheets will be provided. You have to manage your handwriting, your writing style in order to fill the space for the answer. So this will consist of part A, B and C. And now we will know what are the most important parts. So I would suggest you to start with the paragraph type or essay type question first because this is a race. This is also a very important race for the scientist position. And if you leave one question from these two parts, then you are almost out of the race because each question is carrying five or 10 marks each. So if you leave the part A part that is having the short answer type, then you will not be losing that much marks. But if you lose the part B or part C question, if you miss the question, then you will be almost out of the race for this examination. So I would suggest you start with part B or part C because here you will get number of questions that is 20 questions, here 6 questions, you have to timely manage them and so I would suggest to start with these two parts, not go for the part A because the most important thing is the handwriting. Yes, that will also play an important role in the mind of examiner. So starting may if you are going for part B and part C essay type, then your handwriting will be good. So if you all know that after the time is getting over, it is nearer, then your handwriting will be not that much good. So it will be not good for the examiner to see a rough or very bad handwriting and give you the marks. So in starting phase of the exam, I would suggest you to start the paragraph writing and the short type of answer. You should keep it for the latter part of the examination when these two sections are over. So here we will know how to write an essay type or the paragraph type of question that explanation. So we all know and you will be also knowing just to repeat, you have to use the headings and subheadings in the essay type or paragraph type of writing. For example, if the question is asking, write a note on acid rain. So first that is heading will be what is acid rain. Next heading will be what causes acid rain. Next will be chemical reaction behind the acid rain and then under that will be the types of deposition of acid rain that will be the heading and what will be the subheadings 
that will be wet deposition and dry deposition so there are subheadings under the heading of types of deposition of acid rain so this is the basic thing you can write this in this way that is heading and subheading format but how to get more marks because everyone will be following this how you will be different from others i will tell you so this thing this acid rain part which i have taken as an example if you provide an image that is graph or you have to mention any graphical representation illustration then your score will be automatically going towards excellent or very good score from the normal score so normal student will write paragraph wise you have to also write paragraph wise but if you make this type of representation then it will give a hint to the examiner that yes this guy is knowing the concept he or she is able to write it properly so even if you are missing some of the lines then this image this graph will give you the mark more than the normal type of writing so this is very important now let us know what are the important characteristics to write good number of answer so these are the things which you should use in the paragraphs or the portions which are in the essay type graphical representation illustration tabular form so these three things are the brahmastra because they will be giving you a very good presentable and self explanatory answer type yes if you make these things they will be self explanatory to the examiner so examiner will be very much happy and you will get more marks very very surely so last but not the least all these things were being made to make you smarter than the other student and here the t you should focus more that is the time bound because 3 hours 240 marks very very difficult to manage all the question but yes if you have already planned how to write sequence wise graph use or pictorial representation then you will be able to be smarter because specific writing you should measure the time assignable you should be realistic no need to write bluff things you should not bluff that this is the thing this is the fact if you know what is the specific thing asked in the question then you will get the marks don't try to cheat the examiner because he or she is knowing what is the capability of the student so it will be ethical to write the specific answers in the answer sheet so focus on the highlighted topics so the syllabus for this exam is vast as you all know but you should focus on the highlighted topics and the current trends for the examination in the essay type so for example i will give you that climate change global warming corona effect on the economy so i'm telling overall all these things how these questions are important so if you want more search for the environmental science paper i'll make a separate video for that that what are the important topics which are very very likely to come in the examination so focus on those topics only no need to go deep in the syllabus just you should know the concept and the pattern of writing i have already told so no need to take more worries about this exam be sure be confident and yes believe in yourself keep smiling and all the very best for the examination so see you guys in our next video